Hi guys, so I'm here to share with you my experiences with this Eastman E1 OM. I've had this guitar for about a year. It is my only steel string acoustic at the moment. I had the Brunswick Dreadnought and I've tried other acoustics in my life, but this is the only one and this is the best one that I've owned for a long time. I don't have any experience with high-end acoustics or claim to have such, but this is the one that I have and this is the one that I can tell you about. Uh, it is the first one in the Eastman line that has all solid woods, the E1 line, and it has Sapili back and sides, so it has uh, this nice almost flame and this figuring in the back with some uh, indent identificative notes, uh, knots I mean. Uh, it has a classic stain finish, it has the tortoise uh, binding on the back uh, and uh, front, as well as the pickguard is in that tortoise. It has the ebony fingerboard, which is really smooth and shiny as you can tell. No binding. It has a maple neck instead of mahogany, which is, you know, interesting. Uh, this is not hiding anything, it's just for the strap, but it is a one, two, three piece neck. It has these open gear tuners that are very nice as well, but nice is the only adjective that I know for good, great, or acceptable. It has an ebony headstock, uh, the Eastman uh, logo in this particular model is with this square headstock, they sometimes have the other type of headstock that usually is in the grand auditoriums. Um, what else? It has a bracing with scallops or without scallops, I don't know what sort of seafood it has inside of here. I have installed, uh, not me personally, I paid someone to have it installed, uh, LR bags uh, element, so not Anthem, not the Lyric, not the cool ones, uh, just the just the element, because I, I started playing live, which I feel very proud about, uh, I've started doing open mic nights, uh, and I've transitioned in three times from a mix of English and Portuguese to mostly Portuguese speaking songs, so from Portugal and from Brazil, some folk Portuguese songs and some uh, Bossa Nova e MPB, que é música popular brasileira, uh, Brazilian popular music, or popular Brazilian music, or Brazilian popular music, music, I don't know, you get the gist of it, it's like pop, but in Brazil, it's like if uh, I was trying to play Dua Lipa, I don't know, this comparison was strange, either way, uh, it has a bone nut, and it has a bone saddle. The saddle was a bit too high and I took it to be adjusted and then it got a bit too low and with the low humidity during the winter the the top moved and sank so take that in consideration. I think it's normal for acoustic guitars to have this sort of movement within the wood. Uh, maybe it's not. Uh, it has a few dings as you can tell. It has uh, one here and another one there and another one. A big chunk one, chunky one here and another one here but this is has a, a nitro finish so you, you, you can't want a nitro finish and indestructibility it's not possible nitro is thin if you want a breathable resonant guitar it will uh, get marks if it gets hit by electricity plugs i'm not saying that this is what happened with this particular guitar but that's an, a result that you can expect. How does it sound, you ask, okay? So you're going to listen to a mix of the microphone and it plugged in. Why? Because I want to, so. Now, just the, the guitar acoustically. Let me get closer to you. Now just the helix. So you can get an idea of what's different and how does it sound and how does it compare. So, uh, Lila. <laughs> John Mayer Thank mm -hmm. you. 
obviously as you heard before. <laughs> So, it does the looks, it feels great, and it sounds decent. With acoustic guitars, the more that you can spend, the better guitar that you'll get. I will also say that Eastman has carved itself a niche of the market for people that want good guitars at reasonable prices. They're not cheap guitars, you won't get an Eastman for 200 quid unless they're on a great sale. They have the PCH line, which is the Pacific, High, Pacific Coast Highway which is with a solid top and laminate back and sides, which must be good guitars as well, just not all solid ones. And then from the E1 you have E3, E6, E8, E10, whatever. And they have Thermocure tops and Adirondack tops, and they have uh, Mahogany, and others have uh, uh, Rosewood, obviously, and there's even some with Maple. I think the, the cuts that were made in this guitar to fit this price have been the lack of binding and lack of decorative uh, inlays on the front only has the, the double bound here the, the maple neck possibly could be a cheaper wood as well as the sapili uh, i think it's a great guitar uh, it comes without a pickup so that's some an extra cost that you'll need to to make the budget for uh, this one that i put the lara bags element doesn't have a tone uh, pick a, a tone part in it which is a bit tricky because on the last open mic mic that I did you started feedbacking and there was nothing I could do I think it was on the guy that was on the desk to fix that but you know it's an open mic night I cannot expect for them to work for me they already put it together which I'm very thankful for obviously uh, I was also playing Portuguese folk songs and Brazilian songs um, so maybe they, they didn't know how to EQ it uh, as much as if it was a very well-known English speaking song so thank you very much, I hope this helps. Uh, if you are looking at one of these guitars, th these are indeed uh, really pretty and they do feel uh, really good. Uh, the dimensions are the same as the higher end, so the, the neck car supposedly and the, the width of the nut and the saddle. Uh, the OMs all have the same scale length, if you get a dreadnought it will have a different scale length, if you have a grand auditorium it will have a different scale length obviously. Uh, so that's... <coughs> that's... Um, something to consider because for example with Squire and Fender and Mexico and Fender USA, the Fender USA has different body shapes and uh, neck carves and nut widths than the rest of the, the lines with Eastman that doesn't happen. So thank you very much for watching <laughs> once again. Go play live if you can, find an open mic night, I do recommend it. Uh, and Eastman is not essential, acoustic guitars do not have that same uh, brand loyalty or uh, they're not as desirable to guitar players as electric guitars. Uh, I guess in order to, to become something desirable, it becomes the Martin D18s and the USA made Taylors and you know the boutique ones. It's like a whole different level. So the sub a thousand pound guitars, there's loads of them. There's Yamahas and there's uh, the Golden Group in general, Alvarez, uh, Sigma, Freshman, there, there's so many brands, but the fact is a lot of them don't show up on the used market. You, Tanglewood here in the UK, there's no, and I don't really... I've tried them and they all feel a bit plasticky. With Eastman's, they feel like proper usable instruments. I don't know how to explain this any better, okay? These people stop sending me messages! <laughs> it's WhatsApp on the web. Either way, thank you very much. Have a very nice day. I'll see you next time. Keep playing and uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.